Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a very like just chill lifestyle vlog because I kind of just have story times to tell you guys basically about how my life is falling apart right now. It literally could not be falling apart any harder and I feel like I'm having a mental breakdown coming soon. I'm trying to like breathe and calm myself down and not let that happen, but let me just give you a little update. Um, let me close this door real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm filming a sponsor today, so I want to do my makeup and stuff. So I'm going to explain everything going on while I get ready for the day and do my makeup. <clears throat> okay, where to begin? We're going to begin with primer. This is now just going to be a get ready with me and tell you how my life couldn't get any worse right now. Actually I could, so we're not gonna jinx it, okay? Life is not gonna get worse, and I know people have it worse, but that doesn't mean that my problems aren't invalid. That is one of the things that really makes me mad is when I tell people my problems, and then they're like, well, this person has it worse. I'm like, okay, I'm still struggling, so sorry about it. I'm, I'm trying not to get frustrated. We're gonna calm it back down. <sighs> Taking breaths, okay. Oh my gosh, wait, I need water. Nope, uh, okay, I'll be back. Okay, I got some water. And I keep forgetting to take my antibiotic for my like wisdom teeth stuff. So I just went that. Okay, so let me get all my makeup organized so I don't have to look for it and it's just like ready to go, you know? <sighs> so basically this week is the week of my birthday and I'm going to be 100% alone on my birthday because, okay, hold on, I gotta do my eyebrows first supposed to be a great week a week of celebrating a week of fun but no my life is falling apart so starting with like last week last week you guys saw I had to take a few sick days because my face was completely inflamed again from my wisdom teeth um, I think I got some sort of infection and so I started taking an antibiotic and I had this mouthwash stuff that I had to use and I'm back to normal I'm good now that was annoying and painful very painful the first day like literally just as bad pain as when I got my wisdom teeth out. Things get worse. So we decided to celebrate my birthday early, as you guys saw, because I'm going to be 100% alone on my birthday. So of my family that I have that lives here, it is my two cousins, Dallas and Allie, my two sisters, Lauren and Hannah, and then Dallin, my husband. No one, not a single one of them are gonna be here, which is fine, it's okay, because we celebrated my birthday early and I'll be okay, I can spend my birthday by myself, I'll be fine. But my sisters are going out of town. My cousins are also going out of town and they actually invited me, which was super nice, but I think I've decided that I don't wanna go for multiple reasons, but I won't get into that. And Dallin is actually in Missouri by the time that you're watching this. He actually left this morning and that's because I'm going to my mom soon. While the weather was still good and he wanted to kind of like surprise people, he just decided to go ahead and go. And I was like, you know what? We already celebrated my birthday. It's totally fine. He gave me my presents early, not a big deal. And he's taking the cats because we can't, we don't wanna leave the cats here and have my cousins watch them for who knows how long because I don't know how long I'm going to be gone and the reason I'm going to my mom's is because she is having surgery and I wanted to go I wanted to go see her anyway and I was gonna like kind of help take care of her but I didn't know when her surgery was gonna be I just knew in March it ends up being towards the end of March and I'm going to her place like soon so we're just gonna hang out a ton and then she'll have her surgery and I'll probably stay for a little bit after the surgery I really don't know how long I'm gonna be gone because I got a one-way flight anyway so that one decided he didn't want to be here bored and alone and someone need to watch the cats so he took the cats and he went to Missouri so he's in Missouri I'm going to South Carolina and I'm gonna be alone on my birthday so there's that okay but it gets worse why am I still doing this um so yesterday as Dallin's packing he's about to leave we're like hanging out for the last time before we won't see each other for a while the hose to our washer where all the water like goes wherever it goes not on the floor came out and I think the cats had like knocked it out or something I don't really know it came out of the little hole thing and spilt water all over our laundry room. Soaked our carpet, got into the baseboards, leaked into the person's garage who was under our apartment, just caused a whole fiasco. And there was really nothing we could do about it. We literally caught it like probably 20 minutes into the cycle. So like it hadn't been there for very long. We literally used every single towel we had in our house, cleaned it up and we thought everything was fine. We put a fan on the carpet and we're like, okay, we're good to go. This morning, my landlord texted me. I 
after Dallin already left and was like, hey, um, someone contacted me about a leak in the garage from your apartment. I told them what happened. I have that issue to deal with. So that whole thing happened. So I've got alone on my birthday, the wisdom teeth situation last week, and now we have this apartment situation. I don't have my cats to comfort me. So just, can it get any worse? Probably. Anyway, so I spent all morning like really cleaning our apartment because it got all messy from Dallin going in and outside, packing the car, getting the cats ready and everything. And I want it to look nice when our landlord comes, obviously. So I've just been like cleaning all morning and I'm also really stressed because I just, I just am, you know? It's just like one of those times that like everything I do normally is just stressing me out. Like even just making videos is stressing me out. And it's, I love making videos. I've like refound my love for YouTube and it's not an issue, but it's just stressful because even though I tried to get ahead for this week so I could kind of relax, I am not ahead. I'm like a little bit ahead, but it's like, I don't know how to explain. Anyway, and I wanna give you guys a little bit of insight into the YouTube world because it is something that's kind of stressing me out and it might seem dumb to you guys, but this is just how my life is. And I'm not saying I'm ungrateful. I am literally could not be more grateful that this is my job and that I can make money doing this. Basically in March, my manager had said that she had all these deals for me in February and all the brands are taking forever to like get back and like ship everything. So now it's the last week of February. I'm having to rush to get all the brand deals done. And it's just a little bit stressful because it does take like a lot more planning um, to be able to not miss a post and get videos done ahead of time so I could send to the brands so they have time to approve and just just stressful things you know and I'm not saying I'm ungrateful this is part of a job it's just it's part of working I'm sure other people have much stress more stressful jobs so I honestly feel stupid even complaining because I am very thankful but nonetheless a little stressed but it's okay thank you guys for letting me uh rant to you a little bit and explain what is going on in my life. Um, if you guys are stressed and have things going on, you are, feel free to comment down below. We can all help each other out. Okay, this is also something that's stressing me out is my bangs, I just don't like them right now. They're actually to a length where I can finally like deal with them, but I don't know, just why not add to the list of things that annoy me and stress me out. You know, we'll just wear the hair down, okay? What am I doing? What's next? I need to do this. Um, honestly, the thing, like, I was fine until the whole laundry room situation happened. That is what put me over the edge. Everything else I can deal with. Everything else is normal life stuff. That is like, why did that have to happen? Of course it would happen to me. Of course it would happen when I'm about to go out of town. Oh, I just thought of something else that had stressed me out. I was like, there had to have been something up because I'm the type of person that bottles up all my emotions until that one thing pushes me over the edge. But yesterday, um, Ace is very smart, my cat. He knows what's going on. He always knows when we're about to go out of town and all that kind of stuff. So he got on to down packing and he thought we were leaving. Little did he know he was going with him. So you know what he does? Pees on my pillow. Not even the person leaving. He could have peed on Donald's pillow, but no. He could have peed, he could have peed on the pillows I don't sleep on, but no. He peed on my pillow. Luckily, I am a master stain remover and getting pee smells out of things. That's just part of having a cat. Okay, gotta focus doing the eyeliner. Oh, I remembered a few more things of why I'm stressed. Like I said, I bottle everything up until one thing just breaks me and then I'm raging. Ah! I don't even care if these wings look good today. I am beyond over caring about what my wings look like. Okay, doing my eyeliner, I'm realizing that this eyeliner is about out, so that's a little bit annoying. That's actually pretty solid for just like doing it, you know? So Zora ate my phone charger, and I had ordered like a pack of phone chargers on Amazon because Zora kept eating them, and that was the last one. So then I went to Walmart and I rebought one of those really nice, like the Apple ones, the USB-C to Lightning ones that charge super fast. So hopefully she doesn't eat this one. Um, I put soap on it though, and usually that prevents her from eating it. She just loves to eat things. Don't we just love cats who like to eat things? Oh, okay. So I've been wanting to make that like feta cheese pasta that's all over TikTok and I was gonna do a whole YouTube video about it and try to like learn how to make new things and I was gonna start with that. Every time I go to the store, they're out of feta cheese. So I guess everyone's making the feta cheese pasta because there's no feta cheese. I've checked every single time I go to the store. I've tried to go multiple times, tried to do pickup orders multiple times and they're always out. This is another of the more like on the high of annoying things that got, really just got me this week. 
as you guys know, I have a gaming channel and I really like to stream and I was so excited. I was gonna stream like all day Sunday morning and on Saturday and Dallin had gotten me a new desk. He redid my setup, made it look all nice and I was so excited to stream. Okay, come to find out my Elgato, which is like the thing that I stream on. It's like to stream my Xbox, I use my Elgato. The cord that makes it make me be able to stream on it broke. Basically it's broken and there's nothing I can do about it. So the cord should come in today hopefully let's pray it gets here today so I can stream but I'm just so annoyed because also I'm like okay I'm gonna get on a good stream schedule again and I'm about to leave so I'm gonna stream as much as I can before I go and no and I like haven't even streamed with my new Xbox yet so I was excited but nope not happening okay wow I already feel so much better just like not only letting it out and just telling someone or thousands of people but doing my makeup and honestly my hair looks pretty good for just being like kind of natural I might like straighten my bangs out the other way because they're going towards my face that's the most annoying part is my bangs always go in how do I get them to go out okay so much for this being a vlog it is just me ranting at this point doing my makeup but sometimes in life that's just what you need all right let's clean up yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for listening to me just rant and do my makeup and hang out. Um, I love you guys and I feel like we're family, so I feel like, you know, if I'm gonna let anyone know, it's gonna be you guys. So thanks for listening. So definitely stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for helping me make my day better. Bye!